Police are appealing for witnesses in the unexplained death of Easter House resident George Baird, 57. Mr. Baird, who is well known to the police with several convictions for public order offences and sexual abuse of minors, died in a mysterious fire at his housing complex yesterday. The police have urged the public to come forward. We are appealing for help. Anyone with information that might assist our inquiries should contact us immediately. In other news, global stock markets continue to show signs of nervousness. George Baird, paedophile and general shit. Now somebody had killed the bastard. Neighbours had smelled burning from his flat and called the fire brigade. According to the fireman's report, the smell of burning had been strong even from the urine-drenched passageway outside. The door and windows had been securely locked, so they broke in to find Baird on the living room floor with burns over 90% of his body. He was still alive, barely but died before they got him into the ambulance. His body was identifiable only by the electronic tracking device around his ankle. Follow-up interviews found that a number of neighbours had heard mad laughter as well as screaming coming from his flat just before they had smelt the burning. None of them had done anything. They thought he was just knocking the missus about again. And then the forensics report had come back. The fire had no apparent cause, nor had any accelerant been detected. It appeared that George Beard had spontaneously combusted while standing in the middle of his living room floor, then collapsed to the floor where he left clear scorch marks as he rolled about in his agony. Forensics had run their tests over and over, not wanting to look incompetent when it came to giving evidence in the courtroom. But there it was, burnt to death, cause of fire unknown. The bad death of a piece of local filth with insane forensics. No wonder I'd been handed the case. We know what we're doing.